When we Aryan Brahmin boys grow up, we are taught 97% great spiritual things and three lies. The 97% great things include Vedas, Sanadana Dharma, our worship systems, Sanskrit, Bhagavad Gita and so many great things. But unconsciously we end up getting three foundational and fundamental lies. The first lie, uh, Sanskrit is older than Tamil. It is a lie. Tamil is older than Sanskrit is a fact and is a reality. The second lie, reservation is some kind of a charity towards our uh, Dalits and backward people. No, reservation was a consensus formula by the father of nation Mahatma Gandhi to save Hindu unity by joining Savarnas and uh, Dalits on the other hand. It was signed by a uh, Brahmin Hindu leader, Madan Mohan Malaviya and the great Dalit leader, Baba Sahib Ambedkar. Third lie, uniform civil code is nationalism. No, uniform civil code or ekarupata, rashtron ke vinash ke karan hai and nature doesn't like uniformity. We should celebrate diversity. These are not words by me. These are words by Poojaniya Sarsangh Chalak Guruji Goldwalkar in 1972. And he goes on to say, what we really lack is Hindu-Muslim brotherhood and not uniform civil code. These three lies form a paradigm of our mind from which we end up denying the individuality and ex existence of uh, Dravidians, Dalits and Muslims. We are interdependent. We need unity, not uniformity. And unconsciously by these three core lies, the forward caste shamanism or what we call the Brahmanical shamanism arises. Brahmanya is a great thing. Brahmanhood is one of the ideals that India has given to humanity. But this Brahmanical shamanism masking itself as Hindu shamanism and you know it is again covering itself with a mask of nationalism. Is, is in effect pseudo-nationalism. What we really is genuine nationalism, genuine Hindu Sanadana Dharma and genuine Brahmanya.